Jason. Hey y'all. Just getting home here. Come on, Lucia. <laughs> getting home kind of late. But there's still some light left here. Come on, baby. Let's go this way. Come. Ozzy, let's go. Come, 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 come. Lucia. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Well, some exciting news uh, for my pack. Uh, let me do a quick introduction here. If you're new to the channel, this is Ozzy, big man Ozzy, coming at us. He's my alpha kind of course, so uh, he's 150 pounds, and Lucia looks very similar to him, uh, but they're not related at all. Come on, Dolce! And she's only just, she just barely turned nine months old, and she's very large for her age. Let's see what Dolce is doing. She's my gardener right there. Dolce? Ah, get out of it! Get out of it! Oh, that's what it is. Mm. It's a breakfast taco. Get out of it! Oh, goodness. Let me see this. Hmm. Looks like a bean and cheese. Come on, let's go this way. Come if there's any onion in there, I would have to pro Let's go. Come, come, come. The girl, Lucia. Okay, anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, this is a uh, Dolce. Dolce. The Dolce. Dolce is the, um, my other female kind of course. So I have three. I have um, three kind of corsos, one male. And two females, so Dolce is the adult female. She's very dominant. And uh, and then finally, the fourth dog is a Pitbull Mix Tux right here. He's called Tux because he's got kind of a tuxedo markings on his, on his coat. And um, there's my garden. It's coming back to life here. The sunflowers. So beautiful. Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so I was like I say now, I got some exciting news um, for the pack. Well, y'all who've been following for a long time remember my um little pit bull american bully mix puppy that i was uh, fostering for a while her name was tequila and oh i was so 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 attached to her and i still think about her every single day i miss her terribly it's hard to be a foster because you really get so attached but i did find her a really good home so i i'm pretty confident that she's happy in a very good home. I couldn't keep her because she she was a dominant puppy. Um, she had kind of dominant characteristics. And being female and, you know, with my very dominant kind of corso there, Dolce, I didn't want to risk keeping her when she, you know, past the time, you know, that she reached adolescence and adulthood when her hormones would kick in. So, it was too dangerous that there would be an, a very bad fight between the, the two females. But anyway, so the news is that I'm going to uh, be fostering another pit bull puppy. And um, probably at the end of this month, at the end of June sometime. So, yeah, I'm so excited. And and I think I, I, uh, I, I like... You know, as hard as it is to foster because it's hard to let them go, but I feel I do feel good about giving them um, a good head start in life, um, especially being around my dogs, my pack. I think my pack has a good energy to it, and it's a good stable energy to provide for for a, a puppy just starting out in life. So it'll be, you know, well socialized to dogs and um, 
and and I'll socialize it out in public as well, you know, once it's vaccinated for parvo. And so, yeah, I want to bring you all that exciting news. Um, I've been thinking about it for a long time. I just wasn't sure if I was gonna take the plunge and do it. Do it. And I finally decided I'm gonna do it. So we'll see how that goes and yeah, like I said, it's going to be a pit bull, probably some kind of pit bull mix. I'm going to do a genetic test on it. And like I did with Tequila. Tequila was part American bully, part American pit bull terrier. Um, and I'm only going to do that because, well, oh, well, a couple reasons. The ge genetic test will tell you any kind of uh, health. Health. Uh, Gene, genes related to health dis, uh, abnormalities so that you can maybe be prepared for that if there's anything oh dolce <laughs> dolce girl and anytime I mention pit bull on the, on, on the internet people chime in and they get really defensive like why are you calling that a pit bull it's not a pit bull <laughs> So I like to back it up with it's exactly this percentage of American Pitbull Terrier and it's this percent of this other thing. So anyway, <laughs> that's that's part of why I like to do the genetic test test. But anyway, um Ah Z hi papa. <laughs> hi my papa. Ah Z. Ah Z. Hala, hala. This is my papa. And so uh, I have some more exciting news to share with you. And I finally bought a camper, a pop-up camper. I know I was uh, talking about it a couple times on previous uh, videos that I posted that I, I would like to take my dogs with me. I'd like to take my, my pack with me um, when I go on trips sometimes or camping and when I go to visit family. A lot of my family's, you know, Pretty much all my family now actually lives in Texas, so, um, and I'm in Texas here, Texas Hill Country, so I got my, I got my family all around Texas, so, um, when I go visit them, like on holidays, if I didn't have the camper, you know, I can't really take four dogs with me, you know, especially these big dogs, I can't take them in their, in their home, because they have their own dogs, and it's just going to be too much dogs. She got in trouble. to be going into heat soon yeah she she got disciplined by the alpha right there mm -hmm. well anyways um so if i have the camper uh i can take the dogs with me mm -hmm. and uh they can hang out you know with the air conditioning but it's a really really nice it's one of the largest pop-up campers that they make it's got a slide out so it expands in length and width it's got all the amenities it's got uh, it's got a uh, kitchen and oven air conditioning heating and uh water you know shower toilet all that stuff so i'm super excited and then it collapses down to to where it's easy to pull with no wind drag so I'll show that to y'all when uh, when I pick it up. I should be picking it up here pretty soon. So yeah, just a quick update on uh, that exciting news. Some changes that are happening here pretty soon. Little chase it, little chase it, go get it. And anyway, sun's going down. So hey, tugs. This my tugsy. 
This is my tux. Lucci. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get, leave it, leave it. Oh, God, I thought that was an animal. Oh, actually, it could be something under there. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Uh-uh. Get, 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 get. Oh, scared me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get out of it. Get out of it, get out of it. Lord, you never know. Most critters out here stay away because of the, uh, the footprints. The loud footprints and vibrations that the dogs make. But anyway, yeah, so y'all, uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Hope everyone's having a good night. And, uh, we'll see y'all later. Say hi, Papa. Good